Today we're going to talk about the primary connections on a three-phase transformer bank. And there's a rule, there's two rules that you can use when making these connections. One is the primary Y connection rule and one is the primary delta connection rule. So on our uh, screen here, we've got a Y connection on the left-hand side and a delta connection on the right-hand side. So when you're making a primary connection, it's determined by comparing the primary coil voltage rating of the transformer. And you can find this on the nameplates, which we have right here for each of our transformers. You compare that with the system voltage. So let's start on the left-hand side with our Y connection. So the way the rule reads, if a primary coil voltage matches the phase to ground voltage of the system, make a Y connection. So the first question is, well, what's the primary coil voltage rating? What's the, what's the primary coil in the transformer rated for? Well, it's the smaller number of the two numbers on that high voltage side. It's a 7,200 volts in this example on our transformers. If you've got two numbers, it's always a smaller number that the primary coil is rated for. Now, if you've, only, if you've got a transformer nameplate with one number, then that uh, primary coil is rated for what that one number is. And it might just, if, if you only had 7,200 volts, then that's what the primary coil is rated for. Okay, so with the Y connection, like I was saying earlier, uh, if the primary coil voltage matches the phase to ground voltage, it's a Y connection. So if we had over here on the left, if we had a phase to ground voltage of 7,200 volts, then we're going to hook this, these transfer, transformers up phase to ground. Now, if your phase to ground voltage was 7,200 volts, then that would give us a system voltage of 12,470. In this example, if you tried to hook up these transformers phase to phase and feed them with 12,470 volts, you'd break down the insulation in the primary coil and you would ruin the transformers and burn them up. So in this example, that's why we would hook it up phase to ground to get that 7,200 volts, what the transformer's rated for. Okay, let's move over to the right-hand side to our delta connection. And the way the delta primary connection rule reads, if the primary coil voltage matches the phase to phase voltage of the system, make a delta connection. So if we had a phase to phase voltage up here of 7,200 volts, then we would make a delta connection because that would give us the rating of our primary coil. Now in this example, this would, this would have a phase to ground voltage of 4,160. This would definitely be too low a voltage and you wouldn't get the right voltage in your secondary side. So that's why in this example, you would hook it up phase to phase. Let's move to a different page and uh, do some practice with these connections. All right, so here we've got our, um, in this column, sorry, in this column we've got our uh, nameplate. The next column over is our system voltage, and the right-hand side is what our connection is going to be, either a Y or a delta. So we look at our nameplate, and remember, it's a smaller number of the two, so we need to focus on that 7,200 volts. If we look at the center column, our system voltage, to get 7,200 volts, it requires a phase to ground connection. And if it's a phase to ground connection, then we know that on our primary side, we're going to make a Y connection. Let's look at the example number two. So in this example, once again, we focus on that smaller number, 4,160. How are we going to get 4,160 volts for our transformers? If we look at our system voltage, we're going to accomplish that by doing a phase-to-phase -phase connection. So if it's a phase-to-phase -phase connection, then we know that our primary is going to be connected delta. The third example. In this example, we've only got one number on our nameplate, 12,000 volts. Well, we know from previously talking, if it's one number, it's going to be a phase-to-phase -phase connection. So right there, to get 12,000 volts, it's a phase-to-phase, -phase, which is a delta connection. Okay, and then our last uh, example. We've got to focus on the smaller number, the 7,967 volts. In order to get that kind of a connection or that voltage, we have to do a phase to ground connection 
and that's a Y connection. All right, so that covers the primary connection rule. Thanks a lot.